But you know, if I could just trip, Honorable Minister, part of the narratives out there, yes. uh, as my colleagues have highlighted, it's not that there's anything wrong with judges yes. owning houses. Yes. I mean, they deserve much more than that. Yes. But yes. to find or see judges yes. coming in front of everybody, maybe associating with litigants, it's not good optics. They say, in fact, this is usurpation of the role and responsibility of the NJC. That they don't have, it doesn't have to be politicians doing that for the judges specifically. Yeah. Why can't who, the who, NJC who, handle who, who it? Who approves money for the NJC? That's different. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let us start from somewhere. Why would the politicians approve the money for you? You see, <laughs> we're trying to chase shadows. I, if I do it, I can influence. But if I appropriate money, I cannot influence. Who tells you that? Who appropriates money for NJC? Who passes the budget? Yes. It's their responsibility. No, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. If NJC wants 20 billion to build houses, and National Assembly says, no, we'll give you 1 billion, for example. And what happens? So you think that by the National Assembly appropriating this, they have no influence. Or they cannot have influence. Why do we chase shadows all over the world? Even before now, under the military, houses were built by the executive for the judiciary. But for different government policies, where these houses have been sold, and that has not made the judges to be now stay where you cannot even guarantee their security. Okay. Are but you not saying today that because as governor of River State, we built for judges? I'm no longer governor. Therefore, I have bought over all the judges. <laughs> what kind of what what I mean as a country? I mean, you tell me. What kind of thinking, reasoning is that? In fact, you are even insulting the judiciary. First of all, if you say to the NDS or whatever, and the judges or whoever should be awarding contracts, as soon as a dispute, who does it go to? If there's a dispute of contract of the of the of the, of the contract, Scott. who will preside? Scott. Who will uh, who will uh, assign the cases? I mean, why can't we? For once, believe that we should make our institutions to be strong. This is the first time in our administration of it, of a good, as far as we are concerned in this country, apart from the military, a government has come out to say, listen, do you know that all the National Assembly buildings is under the FCT? We did it. The National Assembly. And it's a different arm of government. Yes, it's correct. All the presiding officers. The houses or whatever under the FCT. So that means you control the state, the Senate president. All right, sir. We, 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 have, we, have, a better, we have a better insight now. My colleague from uh, Central, New Central, is there a follow up question on uh, this issue? related, but not on, exactly on this topic. Okay. Uh, Honorable Minister, sir, when uh, you were answering the second question, you touched on a topic which is very important to residents of the FCT when you talked about land grabbing and others. Why is it a matter of policy for this administration to pull down shanties within the capital, considering the fact that Nigerians live in those shanties? OK, yeah. that, that's a new area, actually. I thought it was going to be. I was expecting one more follow-up on that, which is you said that this is owner-occupier. Yes. So it's not an official residence while the judge is still serving. Now, let me say you you, you differentiate. FCT has its own judiciary. Just like a state. Right? Now, what we have done by the presidential approval, under the FCT, you can have the own occupier. Okay. But we cannot, as FCT, for Federal High Court and Court of Appeal, because they're not under us. Okay. So the own occupier has to do with the judges of the, of the FCT. High Court. Yes which is like a state provided for their judges. Do you understand the point? 
Now, what you have done for the Federal High Court, look, because we have the Federal, just like what we did like as a governor of a state, you have Federal High Court in River State, in Lagos. State government say, look, let us innovate their places. It is not conducive. It is support you are giving to the Federal government as a governor. Okay. Now, as FCT, what do we do? We also have to give support. President said, look, I'm coming with a policy with the Minister of Justice and Attorney General on how to handle the Federal High Court, the Court of Appeal, and the But for FCT, okay. these are your judges. Okay. You have a right to have this owner or occupier. All right. And that's what we have done. We are not the owner or occupier for Federal High Court and the Court of Appeal. No. But you have, a division. For the you have a division yeah. of the Court of Appeal in Abuja. Even though you have also had the, the, the uh, headquarters. You have the Federal High Court in Abuja and also the headquarters. So what you have done is look, as a government, and President having approved that look, you should, they should have housing. Just more like what you are doing for other federal agencies, police, <coughs> army, who do that? Who do that? So there's nothing new, but it's only for the judges of FCT that we are having the responsibility of owner occupier that we are entitled to. So people should not, instead of you commending the effort of the tribunal administration, you turn around to say, oh, you are doing this. To buy over, uh, to, uh, to I mean, it's, 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 it's madness. All right, let's leave the issue. To New Central that. has asked you a new question. Okay. Which you need to attend to them. Okay. In, in the last few weeks, we've seen demolition of shanties. In fact, you visited one of the shanties and engaged with those who were there. We want to know why is it a matter of policy by the FCT administration to pull down these shanties for whatever reasons? because residents want to know. And also, you tried to engage with some of these residents. Red Abuja FCT residents want to know the outcome of that engagement. OK. I like, I like the word, the shanties. Define what's called shanties. What's called shanties in the first place? What's called shanties? This is a city. And you want to compete with other countries, cities of other countries. Shanties make shift. You don't even know those who are there. People commit crime, they go and hide under shanties. You can't tell who is living here, who is not living here. You don't even know who they are. Under the trees, under the casino trees, all kinds of people who have a real life this way. We have a land this way at the center. Which is very easy for criminals to block the trains. And then you come and say, oh, train going to Kaduna has been blown up. Train going to the oh, government is doing nothing. <clears throat> and you want us to fold hands to allow criminals to go and hide there to begin to commit all kinds of atrocities. You say, oh, people are kidnapping Abuja. Robbing Abuja, I agree. Where are they staying? Would they stay in any house or houses or decent houses you can, you can identify them? No. Who went there? Yeah, what is this? Go there and see yourself. There are no houses. One not trees. People are <laughs> using anything to make ourselves. And this is what criminals like. Do you know why the metro line had never worked? Even after the Buhari commissioned it, you know why? Former the Buhari commissioned it. All the real land, the, all the land were vandalized and, well, from these guys. They just cross, jump over the fence, the dwarf fence. 
who said, no, 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 we can't continue with this. And to tell you that the government is a government of giving human face, we don't need to discuss with them. No, we don't need to. Like you said, the Nigerians, I didn't even know how you took the population <laughs> and that they're thinking that they're Nigerians. But, you know, you have the government that says, look, human sympathy, even though they pose a lot of insecurity. When the president said, look, go there. Talk to them. And I went there. I said, look, what you're doing here is it fair. The idea is not fair. So why are you here? Why are you doing this? And I agreed. I said, look, we are right. I mean, we were wrong. We are sorry. That's OK. We are human. What we'll do? I set up a committee. CP, director of sales, director of this and this and that. Meet with them. And they came up and said, we are sorry. We won't do it again. OK, find out safe place. As a government, we are responsibility to our people. And that discussion is okay. Take her to a social place. Which government is prepared? But in doing that, we consider the issue of security. It's not about sentiment, it's not about emotion. No, no, I'm not interested in that. I mean, I'm, you see, government was a duty to protect life and property. Any government that cannot protect life and property, it, you don't need to, you can't be there. So it's not about emotion, it's not about sentiment. Today, you hear they bomb so so place. Tomorrow, you hear so so you be bombed. You won't come out to say, what happened? It's the same thing. But if we allow, now, in the next few months or days or weeks, nobody can tell, anything can happen to the metro line. And then you come and accuse, accuse three put administration of being sensitive. Not understanding, not even trying to appreciate lives of people. And then we're trying to take a step to stop anything that will occur. And you're not saying, oh, that the Shanti are not what we should live. No, no. Shanti are illegal people. TVC News has.